Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about uh, a new lesson called Water Pollutants. Before we start our lesson, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Water pollutants include contamination due to domestic wastes, insecticides, herbicides, food processing wastes, volatile organic compounds, heavy metals, chemical wastes, and so on. There are many other uh, th uh, things. Uh, there are two types of water pollutants. Uh, the first one is called the natural water pollutants, and the second is the artificial water pollutants. Let's start with what is the natural uh, water pollutants. It may arise from natural phenomena such as volcanic eruption, death of living things, lightning, and uh, accompanying thunderstorms. The second type is the artificial water pollutants, which, were, which we are going to talk about it in details today. They arise from different human activities. They are classified into four types. First is the biological pollution. Second, chemical, second is the chemical pollution. Third, thermal pollution. And then finally, the radiant pollution. Let's start with the biological pollution. It's due to mixing of animals and human wastes with water. And uh, the infection by uh, many diseases uh, and infection by many diseases such as bilharzia, uh, typhoid, and hepatitis. So this may lead to certain diseases to humans. The chemical pollution is the discharging of factories, residues, and sewage in seas, rivers, and canals. Uh, the increase of some elements concentration causing great harm such as eating fish with which contains high concentration of lead may cause death to the brain cells. Increasing mercury concentration in drinking water may cause blindness. Arsenic increases the infection rate by liver cancer. So here we took, uh, we knew now what is biological pollution and chemical pollution. Let's see. So we said that this is uh, the biological, the wastes of uh, mixing of animal human weights with water may cause to certain diseases like bilharzia, typhoid and hepatitis. Chemical pollution, we said it's due to discharge of factories. This is the discharge that what comes out of the factories and residues and sewage in seas. This is the sewage uh, in seas, rivers and canals may lead to certain disease as we said before. Okay, they may may lead to certain uh, human diseases also my uh, increase in mercury may lead to blindness um, increase in lead may lead to brain death of brain cells arsenic increases the infection rate by liver cancer this is the third type the thermal pollution thermal pollution let's talk about it in detail now Thermal pollution. It's common cause of thermal. Uh, a common cause of thermal pollution is the use of water as a coolant by uh, power plants and industrial manufacturers. When water used as a coolant is returned to the natural environment at a higher temperature, the sudden change in temperature decreases oxygen supply and affects the ecosystem composition so this is a thermal pollution so it is the use of water as a coolant by power plants and industrial manufacturer okay so what is it uh, what happens now so this increase in temperature may lead to death of the marine or the fish due to separation of the dissolved oxygen from the water so this is called thermal pollution due increase due to the increase in temperature. Let's go to what is a uh, radiant uh, solution uh, pollution. It's a process of radioactive pollution including mining of four nuclear material 
nuclear power plants, nuclear weapons, and their testing, as well as medical diagnosis, diagnostics, and treatment procedures. So this is called this is the radio radiant pollution. So it its causes or its origin dumping the atomic wastes in the oceans and seas, leakage of radioactive material from nuclear reactors. Uh, it may damage. It may lead to an increase in the incidence of cancer. So this this radiation may lead to cancer, and also genetic uh, genetic uh, mutations uh, which occurred and lead to an imbalanced behavior of marine organisms and their biological functions. So we took now today four types of artificial water pollutants. These are the biological pollution chemical pollution, thermal pollution, radiant pollution. Thermal pollution, as we know now, so this is due to an increase in temperature, okay, which may lead to uh, death of the marine creature due to separation of the dissolved oxygen from the water, okay. And also, so changing water temperature are changes uh, to the aquatic environment. Some species are not able to tolerate the temperature difference and die. The whole aquatic, uh, the whole aquatic ecosystem is affected and changed. Can you see the uh, amount of uh, fish with the of uh, many sh fish? Radiation pollution is caused by radioactive substance which emits invisible radiation released in the environment through human activities sources nuclear power plants uh, nuclear weapon transportation of nuclear waste uh, uranium mining disposal of nuclear waste uh, refining of radioactive substance preparation of radio radioactive isotopes and he said that, that uh, it may lead to uh, in the incre uh, increase in incidence of cancer and may lead to mutation uh, which uh, are of which occurred and may lead to to, uh, to an imbalance of behavior of the uh, marine organisms and their biological functions. I hope uh, today's uh, lesson was uh, beneficial to you. And uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. And if you like the video, uh, put your thumbs uh, up. Okay. And uh, bye for now For and wait for another video. Bye for now.